what kind of studio did you have? Was it physically a small room? Was it treated as a studio or? <laughs> no, it was, uh, I mean, if it started raining, you'd, you'd hang up because it was a tin roof. But I had a couple of uh, electro voice microphones that I had managed to pick up and recorded it with probably, you know, one for the drums, uh, one for the bass. I would I would usually use four or five microphones in the recording at that time. So I managed to buy an Ampex. I think it was called a 350. It was strictly a one-track recorder. Well, you were talking about what kind of studio was it. It was an old Quonset hut in the very end that had, you know, a metal door that opened that they could come in. And I think one of the funniest stories, their drummer's name was King, and I think his name, he went by King Hen. They were living in Lancaster, and they came over and tied the drums to the top of their car. It started raining, and I mean, it poured down rain, and when they got to the studio, it had been raining outside, and the drums were soaking wet. When they came in, the drummer came up and said, do you have any fire in here? And I said, fire? You, you talking about heat? Yes, sir, heat, you know, fire. And I said, well, the only thing that we have is like an incinerator outside that we use to burn the trash. And he said, okay, so he went out and got the incinerator and took his drums and tried to dry, dry out the skins. He came back in and said, do you have any tape in here? And I said, tape? And he said, yeah, you know, uh, some, some kind of uh, tape. So he had burned a hole in his drum. And so he took tape and taped it up. He used those drums on the recordings 